This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog or top YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone here again man Shout out to all the viewers, subscribers and the followers Big up on yourself! Alright my viewers and subscribers So you know we keep the IPL videos coming fast and regular Alright, so we have another IPL result for you guys But this one comes with a little bit of mixture Because our West Indies white boy, Captain Karan Pollard He has managed to achieve something in the game of T20 cricket That no other player you know, has managed to, to, to achieve We are talking about being the first man to score over 10,000 T20 runs And take 300 T20 wickets yeah man, my viewers and subscribers, so Pollard is really doing it big When it comes on to scoring runs, you know, we know that uh, Christopher Henry Gale leads um, the table But when it comes on to scoring runs and taking wickets, Pollard is right at the top of the tree So we want to say shout out to, to, to our, our white ball captain Pollard, you understand? Because at the end of the day, you know, we really like to see when our players go out and and perform for the different franchise teams that they play for Yeah man, this particular game, guys, I didn't actually see the game You know, where the Mumbai Indians went up against uh, the Punjab Kings I didn't actually see the game, but based on what I am gathering Pollard would have dismissed Christopher Henry Gale Yeah man, for, for, um, for the 299th wicket that he would have taken And then, I think it was then the captain, Rahul that Polar took, you know, that, that brought up his 300 um, wickets So once again, shout out to Polar doing it big You understand, though, them <laughs> Polar is a man that don't just start the talk them walk the walk Always going out on the field and putting it out You know, and very rarely you, you, you find Polar having a, 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 a bad, a bad um, patch You know, every now and again he might fail in a couple of games But, you know, you can look that You can look for him to really come big in in the nether, in the next game so you know shout out to Pollard alright so I'm just gonna give you a quick recap of how the game went down so Punjab they actually took strike first and I must say my viewers and subscribers things didn't go as planned for them at all you know they ended up making a total of 135 for 6 of their 20 overs so a lot of wickets they, 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 had, they, had, a lot of, they had a couple of wickets leave you understand, but they were just able to put together 135 for 6 And um, our West Indies um, batsmen and that team They didn't really turn up at all You understand, because we had, um, we had the lights of Christopher Henry Gale And he came in at number 3 once again You know, but Pollard, as I indicated earlier, had him removed for 1 Yeah man, so Gale, he faced 4 deliveries but he wasn't able to outfox Pollard at all And Pollard had him caught You understand? Yeah man, so, so Gail went for one Another fail innings by, by Gail uh, Nicholas Puran He also didn't manage to contribute much He went for two And he faced only three deliveries So you understand Those two uh, West Indies batsmen in on that team they didn't they didn't um shine today at all um yesterday at all. So Polar um poor and going for two and Gail getting only one. Uh Captain Rahul he he managed to get twenty one of twenty two before as I said Pollard would have removed him to bring up his three hundred wickets. So yeah man that, that is it as it regards to, to those guys. No um the top scorer uh, Makram, he, he actually top scored with 42 of 29 deliveries Yeah man, he had a couple of um, couple of fours He had six fours in that innings Didn't didn't hit any six But you know, 42 of 29 deliveries Really, really good So he is actually the man that led the way for them So shout out to him Now, where the bowling is concerned uh, The wickets, uh, Boomer Boomer was able to pick up two wickets off, um, off his four overs Only gave away 24 runs So very very good bowling by Boomer Very good bowling And our main man Kyron Pollard As I said guys You know he would have picked up two wickets 
you know, he won the bowl one over, so he got two wickets um, for eight runs off that one over to help them um, on the way. So Boomer getting two for 24 off four overs, and Pollard getting two um, for, for eight runs off one over. And as I, was, uh, as I would have indicated, I talk foolishness. Um, Pollard was able to pick up two of the, the, the guys that were expected to make some run in the form of um, Christopher Henry Gale and Raul. Now, chasing down the runs, the Mumbai Indians, uh, once again, Rohit Sharma and Quinton Dukak, they opened the innings. It wasn't a solid start at all because they lost their first wicket um, at 16 when they were, you know, at 16 runs. Roy Sharma went, you understand, 16 for 1. It soon became 16 for 2 when Yadav was removed, you know, because he came in and he didn't score anything at all. You know, Quinton Nakaki got 27. Uh, Tiwari, he got 45. Pandya, he got um, 40 of 30 deliveries not out. And Pollard, he was able to get 15 of seven deliveries not out. So after picking up, after picking up those two wickets for eight runs, and coming back in to make um, 15 from seven, you know Pollard was really highlighted and showed that he is definitely um, not a not a not a man to play around with when it comes on to this T20 thing here. So shout out to Pollard. You understand bowling, bowling for the for the for the Punjab team. We had um we had um Makram. He he bowled he bowled three overs for eighteen runs. Didn't pick up any wicket though. Um Shami, uh, he he had he had um one wicket. You know, but he leaked runs. He went for forty two of his four overs. You understand? I think Bishwani he got um two for twenty five of four overs. You understand? And Ellis got one for 12 of his three overs. So that is basically how things went on um, in regards to that match. Now, my viewers and subscribers, before I close off this video, I just want to talk to you guys about um, a little thing that I see happening with our players over there in the IPL, you know, in terms of their form. I, I, I don't really like what's happening at all, you know. I don't like what's happening. Um, Hitmeyer, he, he, you know, well, he made some runs the other day, but he's not at his brilliant best. Poor and the same thing. Russell injured. Bravo. Touch and go, I think. Bravo is still carrying a little injury. You understand? Pollard blowing hot and cold. Gale, nothing from him. I mean, Fabian Allen, he hasn't, um, you know, he, he hasn't been given the chance, chance as yet. Jason Holler. You know, I mean, Jason Holler isn't doing too bad at all with both bat and ball, so... Let us let us see, you know. But I, I definitely don't want these players to lose form when it is coming on to the World Cup, or if it is the case that they are working on things now and getting themselves in good shape. Hopefully, they will peak. They will peak in time for the World Cup. Cause all you hear me me talking to my viewers and subscribers, I am just thinking about the World Cup and thinking about the players that that I really want to to get some form. Uh, Catrell, we have Catrell there. Um, uh, 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 you know, Catrell isn't doing anything. You understand? So we, we, we have to watch. Um, Evan Lewis, he started out, started off pretty good. You know, did make any runs in yesterday's game. I think his team played yesterday. He didn't get anything much. I doubt he was even able to get to go into double figures. So we are keeping a close eye on what's happening there. Because, you know, these are the same superstars that are expected to really spring in action for us. You understand? But, yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, that is basically it for, 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 the, for the whole IPL thing that I wanted to share with you guys. You know, I don't know if anybody know what, what, what's happening with our, with our other T20 players that are not in the IPL. What's happening with Aiden Walsh Jr., Rastan Chase? What are, what are those guys doing now? Darren Bravo. Anybody can tell me what those guys are doing. Are they just seated around waiting? Are they are involved in some good competitive cricket while, while we wait on the World Cup? Just go down in the comment section as per usual. And let me know what you guys have to say about this. Sports to the bone. Keeping you informed. Please remember to like, share. Leave us a comment. If you have not yet subscribed. My peeps, go right ahead. And subscribe to the channel. I'm out.